All right, guys, Coach George Tannis here. All right, this is gonna be a live video, obviously, and um, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm gonna make a sandbag out of this bag. Kind of looks like a hockey bag, but actually uh, this bag kind of sort of traveled the world with me. Used to be where I used to put my uh, shoes. I used to just throw my shoes in here or whatever. I didn't care if they threw them or whatever. And uh, yeah, so this bag holds a lot of sentimental value to me. And um, well, I'm, as some of you guys know, I have access to gym equipment, but I'm not using it. I wanna, in solidarity, I want to be like everybody else. I haven't done a squat in a squat rack. I haven't done anything. So basically, I'm, as a coach, trying to be a role model as much as I can to put myself in an even worse place than most people are, and certainly in a worse place than most of my clients are. Most, some of my clients have home gyms, multiple home gyms. A lot of people I know have home gyms. This garage behind me was a home gym, and actually I'm kind of sort of in the middle to make it a home gym in November, October of this year, before this coronavirus happened. So. If I had it, it would be a different story, but the fact is that I am in a, as a role model, I cannot bring in uh, a load of equipment here. Even I can bring it in, but I won't, okay? In solidarity with everybody else. This is what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm taking my bag that, actually, I hide this bag, okay? This bag's been out of the closet now for a little while, but I haven't used it. There's no sand in it, there's no nothing in it. And what I'm gonna do is fill it up with sand and I'm gonna start using it as a sandbag. Now, even to throw more dirt at me, or whatever the, the quote is, before this pandemic, I actually donated three sandbags to a university here. And I had to go back there the week before the shutdown and I was very sure there was gonna be a shutdown and I was actually going to see if there was a shutdown, if somebody can take those ba sandbags at home. I was thinking it would be a scumbag move if I did it because I was the coach, but I was wondering if any, uh, uh, two of the ones I was hoping some females would take it and the bigger one I had no idea who could use that except for me. So that was kind of put me in a predicament. The bags are there, they're not even being used, but we can do our own bags, okay? so. That's what I'm gonna do is, I got sand here and I wanna finish this up because I don't wanna ruin my camera because I got lots more videos to make for you guys. A full bucket, you guys have seen my bucket. You guys have seen the videos where I put uh, sand in buckets, sand in bags. I tell you guys, you can use um, um, any bag, nylon. Some people are putting um, Ziploc bags and putting the Ziploc bags and they're tying them up, um, wrapping them up with uh, electrical tape, um, that, uh, that thick tape and they're tying them up. And they know how much they weigh, whatever, 2.2 pounds, whatever it is. And then when they gotta make an increase, they go in there. You can get as elegant and as precise as you want. Me, most of my clients, we're just having fun, okay? We're not losing our gains. We're actually really inspired, really motivated. This is really fun time of, uh, in my career anyway. It's really fun time to help people out with the minimal equipment and take them back into time. Sh shoveling snow, shoveling, shoveling uh, gravel, doing stuff around those things. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up because I know this is 80 pounds total. I mean, that doesn't weigh a pound, whatever. Let's just say a pound. I know if this full of sand is 80, so what I'm doing, I'm hoping that I can get 100 out of this today, and in the future, I'll put it in. I know I've loaded this up with at least 100 with shoes and whatever garbage, so let's go and do it. So, I'm gonna... So guys, uh, while I'm doing this, and making my camera full of dirt, if you guys have a hockey bag, if you know somebody who has a hockey bag, this resembles a hockey bag, even though it's not, okay? If you guys have a bag like that, I forgot what this bag is all about anyways. I remember being stuck in some airport, I forget where, and I have to either leave 
items there or buy a bag. <laughs> and I remember just walking in the store and throwing money on the table and taking that bag and then throwing my shoes in there. So, okay, so there's, that's about 80 pounds. So what I'm gonna do is put this in, okay? That wasn't easy, okay? Oh God, this is gonna be really, really. So that's 80 pounds. You know what? And what most people will do, I'm not going to do it yet. What most people will do is shape this, okay? So they would shape that right there. Okay guys, you guys got that? They would shape that, so this would be 80 pounds, okay? I don't think most of you guys would need 120 if you're actually doing like Sandman exercises, okay? Me, I'm gonna do everything with it, right, so I could do videos, because if I tie this up 300 pounds, I'm pretty sure now that I can, because that's 80. Oh yeah, oh boy, right? So if I really want to make this a 300 pound bag, which, I could handle for walks. I would shape this, okay? And you can even put yourself, uh, get yourself a better uh, plastic bag, a heavy duty one, I've seen them. They're not that expensive actually. And you can wrap that around, okay? And then you would get your electrical tape or your, your tape, okay? And then you would mold that, okay? And you would mold that and just leave a little bit of uh, give, a little bit of space so the sand can kind of go up and down. Right now I'm going to have a problem if I keep it like this because the sand is going to go really up and down. So again, I haven't tried this, but eventually with trial and error you can make it work, believe me, okay? Haven't had to do it because anybody that needed a sandbag just did what I did, just pick up the phone and order one. That was until now, okay? But if you have a hockey bag and it doesn't hold as much sentimental value to you as this bag does, say, oh my God, I used to play hockey with that bag and nobody's touching it. Well, look, we came in this world naked, we'll leave naked, all right? So I'm actually gonna put one more in to make it 160, so there you go. Okay, one more time, guys. So there's 80 pounds in a bag, okay? So I would, Make it how you want. I would take a bag, okay? And I would tape this up really, really strong, okay? And you know what? And there's your sandbag, okay? So a lot of people are wondering about sandbags and stuff like that. If you can get yourself, this is a nice nylon bag. I already know I put over 100 pounds in this bag easily. I said if I get 120 out of this bag, I'll be really, really happy because I can do a lot of exercises. Obviously, the more I pack into this, the less exercises I will be able to do. There's plus and minuses to everything, okay? So, that's what you can do, is take a bag like this, let's just say a hockey bag, okay? Take a hockey bag, and then fill it up with sand, okay? And then if you want, you can also make little, uh, uh, what do you call it? Ziploc bags, okay? The bigger ones, the smaller ones, we have every size here, but I'm not gonna waste them. I don't need to be that precise, okay? If I'm dealing with a client and they need to be that precise, or I need to be that precise with them, yes, okay, you know what? Do your, do your thing. So, even with guys like this, okay? If you wanted to put sand in it, okay? And then, you would take one or two bags, Okay, one or two bags. And really wrap this around, okay? So I'm basically saying that I can put 80 pounds in here for sure, I just did it in front of you, okay? And then I would take a bag or two, I would take a more heavier duty or bag, and then that would be your shape, okay? And then you would take your electrical tape and wrap that thing, okay? In the future, when you want your bag back, 
or in the future if you got to put more weight and if you need to make sure you're damaging the plastic bag and your electrical tape or whatever tape you're using and not damaging this okay because you might want to use this again you might have to because it's like I tell everybody don't go out of your way to start breaking your band and your, your bags and stuff like that because you're gonna need them okay oh I was too heavy whatever I, I knew I was gonna break it if you knew you were gonna break it don't do it because now you got nothing now we got to figure out another plan okay so you can take any bag like that this is a really nice bag too I usually just put my tools in here like my carabiners and stuff okay so this here pretty sure it can hold about 60 pounds of uh, 50 60 pounds of sand okay there you are there's the shape with the tape and there you are and then I will do sandbag exercises for you you'll see you can go online and see any sandbag exercises and they're really really demanding and they're really really good for you okay we do sandbag carries we do strongman exercise we do all of that because it gives us so much back in return okay we don't do it because we like it we do like it we like what it gives us back in return so when people are worried about oh I'm gonna lose my gains at home whatever here's my thought on that if you haven't done these in a gym and now you can do these at home trust me things aren't too bad so I'm gonna try and put one more in here okay I don't even know what I'm doing here my parents will probably kill me my grandmother I'm sure they don't like me digging up okay and on that side we got garlic ready to come out too okay so guys let's just say um, that's a little bit more than half sand okay so let's just call it what it is 5560 so 5560 okay 5560 so that's about uh, what do we say 80 plus 55 130 no matter what okay now now depending on how things go I don't know like I said at the beginning of the video I'm just making a video with you guys okay I've never had a client that had to do this okay do it now because we're putting sand in bags and whatever this is a hockey bag this is a different animal I consider this a different animal than this okay this is easy you can put some uh, those Ziploc bags the bigger Ziploc bags tie them up um, I've already done videos on that so I'm not gonna waste your time this is gonna be a bigger bag where you're gonna be able to put it on your neck around here you're gonna be able to walk on it you're gonna be able to put it on your shoulders okay walk with it okay there's gonna be a lot of things that we can do with this as opposed to this this would be easy to carry um, you would carry this because if you put 80 90 pounds in this which I'm pretty sure you probably could um, again if you're gonna wrap it around then most likely you're not gonna have the straps and I can just imagine the straps sooner or later are gonna start uh, deteriorating so you're gonna have to get into the real carries anyways and if I was to do like a squat with this it doesn't hold on but if you see this now let me just do it for you guys quickly so that's it right there right so there's 130 pounds make sure I don't hurt myself here so that's 130 pounds okay yeah you can see the sand going into my camera now yeah okay and then if I want I can even do like again guys it was there you go okay I got lots of room to go okay I got lots of room to go and 
probably what I'm gonna do is after I do videos with a variety of different exercises and I've shown you guys and I have it documented and I got the films uploaded then I don't have to worry about it anymore because I probably don't do those myself and anybody that needs them can look at them for reference then after that I will probably go get and wrap this around so this would be wrapped around and I would tape it up so good that it would hold that form okay it would hold that form and then I could use it as a proper sandbag okay and truth be told is that I actually researched to get a bag now like last night and I think I probably could have bought one but I'm not going to in solidarity let's do this together use your bags whatever and I know right now a lot of people are probably sh shocked at me for using this particular bag anyway because it has high sentimental value and another reason why I did this video is because I know a lot of you guys have bags hockey bags tennis bags golf bags I don't care okay <laughs> fill them up with sand wrap it around make it a form I'll help you call me whatever we'll do it on Skype we'll do it a thing and we'll set it up okay came in this world naked you'll leave naked believe me I know so that's basically it guys and I would I mean I trust these straps but you can see so what did I do I did 80 and 50 so 130 okay 130 and then one thing that I really want to do if I can show you guys okay I'm gonna get dirty anyways once I take this out it'll clean up I can start doing walks with it I can start doing squats with it and a lot of people are wondering how can I do squats and you see me doing squats there's a lot of ways to do squats if you have to do something like a 3-4 250 to a 350 squat at home we've already been there we already got that right um, I'm talking people with no equipment get your gym bag out get your shovel out or you can go to the store and get sand bags they come at about 66 pounds uh, yeah they'll say right on it 66 pounds the last time I checked last week they were like seven eight bucks I don't know what uh, the hardware stores in your area are here you got to order them and pick them up curbside no problem just go online type sand got it 66 pounds and then you don't even have to open the sand bag those bags that you're gonna buy put them in here this one this one definitely would hold four okay four times 66 okay you're talking about uh, 240 pounds whatever okay and still room to grow get your electrical tape boom 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 get your electrical tape boom 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 okay where's that other guy okay oh this guy right here okay so anything you got okay if you think it can't hold that type of weight then wrap it around with plastic and spend about 10 bucks on tape whatever it is boom 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 get it all done okay if you want you can take a towel if I had this okay I would wrap it around with an old towel okay and that might give it a little bit of strength put that over an old towel that you really don't care about okay wrap it and you got yourself a sandbag for home that you can probably do well over 50 exercises okay and then trust me you will get into some serious serious shape so there you are guys I did it right in front of you thank God I didn't look like an idiot I didn't I knew I wouldn't but you know sometimes people try to who oh, have never done it before I, I have never done it before I've never had to you just pick up the phone you call for a sandbag you donate sandbags like I do you know people just give you their credit cards and tell you hey order what I need or whatever send it over to my house okay sure times are different now you have to think outside the box and it's great because a lot of people took the gym for granted now you can't take nothing for granted nothing not even your job if you're if you're working 
and now you got to go back to how we went we were doing it a hundred years ago okay and that's okay because probably better that's okay okay I'd rather people do sandbag carries and exercise with a heavy sandbag than who I went to the gym yeah sure you did keep that up all right guys I better cut that out before I start getting a little bit more sarcastic bag use your bags take your bags that you love forget it you're not bringing it to the grave with you bags thing whatever if you have a comment comment down below uh, I'll answer the question. If there's something I missed, I can update the video, whatever. Buckets, plastic bags, nylon bags, big bags, medium bags. Fill it up with sand, fill it up with water bottles. Wrap it, wrap it, towels, whatever. Coach Tan is out. Like, subscribe, share, and um, join us at our blog. If you need us for personal training, consultations, anything, Contact me at Coach George Tannis. We'll fix it up and we'll get you on the way. Okay? Stop stressing out. Working out at home is going to be a benefit to most of you guys now for sure. And once you guys, once this shutdown ends and we go down, you'll say, you know what? I was traveling 45 minutes to the gym, 45 minutes back. I had to wait for this equipment, that equipment. Now, if you factor in that you could just go home and do your workout. Better if you have a garage, better if you have a place in your house. I can teach you how to do it. And next thing you know, you have a couple hours. You have an hour and a half every day to really get a workout. Because some people, I don't know, in 45 minutes. Yeah, but you're spending more time traveling to and from the gym than actually working out at the gym. Okay? And then you have people traveling to say yoga. This is why I tell people not to go to yoga classes. Just do your yoga at home. Okay? I don't understand what... I understand if you're doing it right or wrong. A lot of people are doing it wrong. A lot of people, <laughs> I see a lot of things that I shouldn't even say right now in film when it comes to yoga. But when it comes to yoga and people asking me, my number one prescription is do it at home or get personal training and do it one-on-one -on -one and do it that way and then eventually do it at home anyways under your own time. Because a lot of people, if they're doing yoga for meditation, for relaxation, whatever, I don't see the point of taking a 45 minute drive to your yoga studio starting on their time, doing a stretch on their time, beginning the stretch on their time, ending a stretch on their time, and then you gotta go get cleaned up in front of strangers, and then you gotta go back into traffic and go home. I just don't see where the stress relief is in all that, okay? So, again, with my clients, everybody has a contingency plan. I don't care if it's at the office, I don't care if it's at the park, I don't care if it's in another country, I don't care if it's at the cottage, I don't care. But there's always a contingency plan of something to do. Okay, bucket, sand, water, bands, extra dumbbells, body weight exercises, okay? And once you're a busy person and you don't know your schedule, okay, you need to be able to work out anytime, anywhere, okay? Coach Tannis out. Hope you guys really enjoyed that. I did, and I'll figure this out. So you'll, you'll be seeing that a lot in the videos. All right, guys, see you in the next one.